from starring in NCIS as her first ever big TV show, to being a witty joker. There's a lot fans should know about Emily Wickersham. For starters, she starred in NCIS. When Cody DePablo left the fan favorite role of former Israeli Mossad agent Ziva Davi on the CBS hit show NCIS in 2013, it came as a big surprise to fans. They were sad to see the beloved character leave. But the arrival of Emily Wickersham was the silver lining to it all. The former NSA analyst's new role at NCIS special agent Eleanor Bishop wasn't so much a replacement for Ziva. It was an unexpected new flavor that gave a well-known and loved cast a fresh kick. As the writers wrote more about the new character and how she fits in with the rest of the team, fans quickly warmed up to her. Since joining in 2013, Wickersham's character, Bishop, has been part of many investigations and storylines, making her a favorite among the show's many fans all over the world. After eight years and 172 episodes, she said she would leave the show in May 2021. Fans of NCIS who have grown to like Eleanor Bishop might not realize how little they know about the actor who played her after all this time. Cause I don't know if you know this, but did you know she belongs to not one, but two countries? Not long after NCIS brought Eleanor Bishop into the show, Emily Wickersham went on The Late Late Show with host Craig Ferguson. Ferguson stated right at the beginning of the interview that his guest's name sounds very English. While Wickersham agreed that it did, she claimed that it was her name that was English and not her. She told Ferguson that she's part Austrian and part Swedish, but was born in Kansas. In fact, it's her ancestors who belong to these two countries. I will. Um, Wickersham is English. I'm Austrian and Swedish, born in Kansas. Oh. Yeah. But since she was born in Kansas and has lived her whole life in the USA, she holds an American passport. So technically, she holds ties to three countries. The half-Swedish actress also talked about a recent discovery she'd made about her last name. So I, I found out only recently, about a month ago, that Wickersham, they're Wickersham brothers in a Dr. Seuss book. In case you didn't know, the Wickersham brothers are characters from one of Dr. Seuss's novels. However, she didn't know which Dr. Seuss book it was, though. And the conversation was a bit all over the place. It left Ferguson's robot sidekick, Jeff Peterson, very confused. I'm not familiar. I'm very confused by this. Oh. Yeah. Though it wasn't the only time things were whack on set. When Craig asked Wickersham if she was a vegetarian, he found out something else about her that was interesting. Turns out Emily was one, and Ferguson had made a lucky guess. She asked Ferguson how he could have known that about her, and he said it had something to do with her being an actress, so it was a 50-50 chance. Hello. Are you a vegetarian? <laughs> I am a vegetarian. I knew you would be. How did you know that? Well, you're an actress. But enough about that. Let's talk about her rise and development in the industry. In her early career, she had a ton of gigs. Emily had a lot of roles before she got her big break on NCIS, as shown by her IMDb credits. She worked on TV shows like Law & Order, Criminal Intent, Gossip Girl, and the HBO comedy Bored to Death. Not just that, but movies like I Am Number 4 and Gone were also crucial to her rise. One of her first jobs, though, was also one of the most memorable. She played Rhiannon Flammer in episodes of the sixth and final season of The Sopranos. And it was this very gig that shot her to fame. Her story arc with AJ Soprano might have been all over the place, sure. But despite the whole explosion, it's still one of the most unforgettable parts of the finale. In fact, according to the Talking Sopranos podcast, it was this very episode that made her land a bunch of acting gigs in the future. Actually, uh, we'd like your help figuring out who the dead girl is. H how would I know? How would you know what? Somebody stole my wallet. Although that's still not the most interesting thing about her. The NCIS favorite has got an amazing sense of humor. In a video for Esquire, the actress tells a funny joke, along with the disclaimer that says, Esquire can't promise that everyone will find this joke funny. In the video, Wickersham joked that she used to tell self-deprecating jokes, but that she was very bad and awfully stupid at it. I used to tell self-deprecating jokes, but I was like really awful and terrible and stupid at them. I mean, there's nothing quite like some dark humor, right? But as for the joke itself, it's the kind that makes people grunt instead of laugh. 
So Wickersham says a mushroom walks into a bar and asks the bartender for a drink. And the bartender goes, sorry, but we don't serve mushrooms here. The mushroom doesn't take that well and says, come on, I'm a fun guy. Get it? Fun guy? Anyway, in a second Esquire video, she gives fun ideas for holiday gifts when you don't know what to get someone. Emily jokes, when in doubt, a gift card is a great way to show someone you don't really care about them. And you know what? She might just be on to something here. Well, when in doubt, a gift card is a great way to show someone that you don't care about them all that much. Now another thing that you might have missed is the time when she got pregnant. That must have been heartbreaking for everyone that had a crush on her. Sure, Emily leaving NCIS was big news, but the reason behind the announcement was even bigger. Just over two months after she left the job, on July 30th, 2021, the ex-Sopranos woman posted another photo on Instagram. This one showed her in a bikini and sporting a rather huge baby bump. She wrote in the caption that her mother was taking a picture of a future mom who was about to have a baby boy. Which is why her IMDb profile showed that she didn't have any movies or TV shows lined up after NCIS. I guess this was because she wanted to spend some time with her new baby before taking on another project. Plus, in case you're wondering who the baby daddy is, then the actor James Badge Dale comes to mind, who's known for his roles in TV shows like 24 and Hightown. Not only that, but he often posts photos of Wickersham on social media and is pretty big on PDA with the actress. He even wished her a happy third trimester on Instagram and often posts random photos of the couple too. But while Emily's life is pretty snazzy right now, did you know that the actress got arrested once? That's right. Sure, Emily's never been the kind of famous person whose name on page six. But hey, even she isn't perfect. The 38-year-old talked about her criminal past when she and her mother, Amy, went on Rachel Ray together. The mother-daughter duo played a game where they spilled some secrets where they answered a couple of questions about the other. And it was then that Emily's mom spilled the tea. When asked if her daughter ever did anything in college that was scandalous, she claimed that her daughter was once caught drinking beer in a bar and had to be taken away in a squad car. Emily, on the other hand, defended herself right away. She clarified that it was only because of the fake ID and nothing else. But an arrest is still an arrest though, right? Her mom did say that this incident had made her a bit famous because she was on the cover of the college paper the next day. Always the star, Emily Wickersham. The future sees wide open for her. Since she gained a lot of fans during her time on NCIS, it's clear that she'll have a lot of opportunities waiting for her. But for now, that's everything fans need to know about Emily Wickersham.